Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about alternate feature extraction technique for text that is uh, word to vec. So here uh, we are just going to convert the uh, words into a uh, vectors and uh, feed it into a neural network model. So this is also helpful if you are dealing with like machine learning modules, but uh, this will be very helpful if you are dealing with uh, uh, deep learning models like uh, building a neural network and uh, other things. So what it does is it will just uh, use a neural network model to learn the word associations from the large corpus. So let's say if you are having um, uh, multiple words in the same sentence means it will consider uh, uh, these words are related to each other. So once trained, such a model can detect synonyms, uh, words or ad suggest traditional words for the partial sentence. So based on the meaning, it will also suggest you uh, some uh, related words because everything will be mapped into a vector. So whichever vector are closer to the corresponding word, it will just uh, suggest. So we will cover all these examples in this video. First, we will uh, import the necessary modules. So I'm going to use the Gensim. So from Gensim dot test dot utils import common text common text and after that we have to import word to vec so from gensim dot models import word to vec okay these are the modules we have to import so common text is just like a example text instead of typing by ourselves uh, it will just uh, import all the common text that is available so these are the common text and uh, this whole uh, single array can be considered as like a sentence. So all these words are like uh, related to each other. So from this, uh, we are going to build a uh, word to vec uh, model. So we are going to create a, a vectors with size of uh, 100. It will have like 100 dimension and uh, we will also see related words for this. Now I'll just create the model because it's like a neural network. So word to vec of uh, pass the text that you want to transform. So that is common text size equals 100. So it's just going to specify the number of dimension. You can also specify like 50 also if you are uh, dealing with like uh, you just want less amount of uh, uh, information. If you want more means some uh, maximum you can go up to like 300. But uh, to be in the optimal size, you can go with 100 itself. And after that, uh, you can also set like minimum uh, count, like how many uh, uh, words you can like consider. And uh, yeah, other than that, you can just use the default parameters. Even this, you can just use as a default parameter. So after you have initialized the model, uh, you can uh, get it. So I'll just say, initialize initialize and uh, fit the data and this is the text data so let's run this once okay currently i am facing some error because i just have to build the vocabulary uh, currently uh, it needs to be considered these individual words as the look vocabulary so by default, the work to work have like minimum count of five. So I'm going to change it to one in order to consider uh, each word as like a vocabulary. And uh, let's run this now. Now it has been initialized and trained. We can uh, get the feature vector for individual words. So for that model dot W of here, here you just uh, pass the word. I'll just pass the word uh, human or I think I'll just pass the word graph because that's occurring like multiple times. Okay, this is only W and uh, this is the feature array we are getting. So this is the vector. So it just converted this word into this uh, vector. So you can use this in the neural network. You can also get some related words for this graph. So to get that, you can uh, use model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv.model.wv
most similar of graph run this okay so it's considering uh, these are the most uh, similar words graph is most similar to like interface user trees minus computer i think it's just uh, got all the words from this and based on that it will just uh, mapping the uh, similarity so you can just uh, get the most similar words from this so if you have a bigger uh, corpus means it can able to get more uh, information from this but uh, so this is only uh, been initialized and trained with this small amount of data that's like too much small this is the complete vocabulary we got so in order to overcome this uh, we can have a pre-trained model so that is uh, word embeddings and uh, we are going to use like glove vectors so we will see that in the next video for this if you don't have any uh, pre-trained model with you or uh, you just want to create your own feature vectors from the available data you have you can gladly go for this word to vec and uh, create a feature vector like this so you can pass this uh, vector directly into the model so that's how it works and uh, this will be very helpful in order to get the contextual information and that's pretty much it guys if you have any queries related to this video please leave a comment below and apart from that thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video